collectibles are a hot item. Um, they were hugely up this year with things like LOL Surprise. It'll be interesting to see whether they can continue that through into 2019. I think also licensing will play a big part as we've got some good big licenses coming out. Technology is definitely a focus, so technology within all toys as the toy industry tries to retain children um, and take them out of that so, you know, gaming time but back into toys, so I think technology driven toys as well. We have RT3000, who's our new coding robot. Um, he is actually a London Toy Fair Hero Award winner this year, so we're really proud of that. Um, RT basically, um, as a coding robot, he's got four types of learning. So it's um, he can program shapes, you can do art, you can do games, and you can also do freestyle coding as well. So you can get him to do whatever shapes and things that you like. Folk. So. The toy industries declined slightly last year. Our retail sales were about 3.3 billion. That's about 7% down on 2017. The decline really come about because of the economic uncertainty that there's been in the last 12, 12 to 18 months. All we hear on the news is doom and gloom about Brexit, uh, that it's pushing up prices and that it's going to be difficult for businesses to trade with a nearest trading partner. Uh, it's, it's a mess, so it makes people think, maybe I'll hang on a bit more to my, mo to my money. Can you see that there? It works the same as the real one. We won't be affected at all. We do, do, we do supply um, at France and Germany a little bit, but not significant, because our products are miniature English products and, and domestic appliances with English made, because that's why. Online, social media, and games. You're going to get 